So I already had some questions about the chapter one to four review. Uh, 24 and 25 are the hints I already posted, but I wanted to do a few problems for you now. <clears throat> for problem number three, um, if we look at the information given, I'm going to draw you a little picture here based on the picture they gave me. Here's our theta. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this triangle ABC just so I kind of have some information. I'm gonna use the law of cosines. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus two AB cosine of angle C. <coughs> Excuse me. So now let's throw everything in we got. So we know 456 squared equal to 10 squared plus 320 squared minus 2 times 210, 320 cosine of theta, because angle C is theta. <coughs> now that's the setup. And this is the most difficult of our law of cosines. Excuse me, my <coughs> uh, laryngitis is still being weird. Um, and so you're going to leave this stuff alone. We're going to get uh, the actual squares of those. Okay, so we're going to get 207936 equals 44100 plus 102,400 minus 134,400 cosine theta. Now, do not subtract this. You can't. You must combine these two, then subtract it from both sides. And let me tell you, you're going to end up with 61436 equals negative 134400 zero, zero, cosine of theta. We're going to divide both sides by negative 134,400. We get cosine of theta equals negative 0 0.457113, which makes theta 107.2 degrees. Okay, <clears throat> so law of cosines um, is what you're going to use. Now let's talk about number eight somebody had a question about. So what we know is that if four plus three radical two is a root, it's conjugate four minus three radical two is also a root. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take x minus four plus three radical two and x minus four minus 3 radical 2, which is x minus 4 minus 3 radical 2, and x minus 4 plus 3 radical 2. You're going to FOIL all that out, and then the answer will reveal itself. Let's take a look at number 20. For number 20, what value will make the remainder 0? What I did is I set up a uh, Synthetic division box. I put the 3 in the corner and then 3, negative 10, k, and then minus 6. <coughs> so remember, we're going to multiply. Write it down. Well, I sure didn't multiply right. Sorry about that. <laughs> 3 times 3 is 9. We're going to multiply. Write it down. Add them up. Multiply. Write it down. Add them up. Multiply. Write it down, add them up. Oh gosh, that doesn't look very good. And we know that we want 3k minus 15 to equal 0. And then the rest is on you. If you have any more questions, I'll post videos with questions, but you got to ask them. 